I don't know what you're thinking, but you're way out of your depth, MP. This isn't how you handle your oh, business. I gotta look out for myself, coach. Who else go look out for me, huh? Who go do it if I don't? Tell me. All right, well, hey, hey, hey. Forgetting for a minute that there are literally a million other ways to take care of yourself that don't include airing your dirty laundry on social. What do you think I'm doing here? I'm looking out for you since day one. You gotta do what you gotta do. I gotta do what I gotta do because we both gotta put food on our tables, okay? It's not personal. That look personal to you? It is what it is. I'm not about to be concerned with what another man think about me. Okay, coach? I'm not doing it. It's your life, MP. But what you do affects those around you. And if, if you can't see that, then you got a lot more growing up to do than I thought. The Hawks on their way to the locker room earlier, hoping to send their fans home happy tonight. A great view of our broadcast locations in a downtown Atlanta. We're all set to bring you today's action. Thanks for joining us here. Hey, Dave. Thank you so much, Kevin. The Hawks have accumulated a depth of talent. Trey Young says we've got a lot of weapons. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Well, he plays like he's having fun. David, thanks. And a look at the starters for the Pistons. Bay and Grant are the forwards. Cunningham is out there with Lee. And Stewart in at the center, locking down the middle. And for the Hawks, Young. Well, this now into the line four. Some teams decide to shake things up. That's a good question, Kevin. I think it depends on what the expectations of your team are going in. And if you get to the early part of December and you're not seeing the fusion of some of the guys and the play style that you expected after making either an offseason acquisition or uh, the improvement of some of your younger players, I think that's when some of the discussions in front offices start to happen about what kind of movement could happen for our team. And that might be for getting better for the rest of that season or starting to think about the subsequent seasons ahead. Jackson kicks to MP. Inside. 132 left in the first. Six to shoot. Passes it to Jackson. Here's Bagley. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Well, Bagley bringing it right now and taking his frame and presenting it for contact. Young against Jackson. Young pass to Herter from 12 feet out. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. MP outside. Atlanta with the rebound. Young right side. Misses the step back jump shot. Well, mid range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. So far, both teams scorching the nets. You gotta love it. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great, scoring is coming in bunches, and both of the teams feeling confident right now. Okongwu, the pass to Herter. Rebound by Olenek. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. Three-point lead. 
Greg, we heard the rumors early in training camp. This team is a bit torn on their view of MP and how he should be used. Well, from what I heard, the front office loves him. But the man making the lineup doesn't agree, and it's become a point of contention. You wonder when MP will get a chance as a start. Jeremy Grant, he is feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the... This has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Detroit. They've definitely had a hot hand from three-point range. Always nice to get off to a good start. Another part of the game tonight where they've been effective is to get points in the paint. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the court for the Pistons, we've got Bagley. Jackson is out there with the out. Then it's MP. The bucket just not well protected, but still he doesn't convert too often. That's been the story with him. Bagley with the block. Well, you pair that length with those kind of defensive instincts, and Marvin Bagley becomes. Second team on the court. One twelve left to play in the first half. Golinari with the steal. And now the fast break. Gallinari with the ball. They now take the lead. Herder's got the lead up to one now for Atlanta. And look at how the hustle game has been going for Atlanta. And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a frenetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnovers. For some reason, they've also had guys in the right spots on the offensive glass. Lots of putbacks. Shot clock at five. And Detroit with another turnover here. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. A tight game here in Atlanta. And following this one, I'll take on the Hornets in New Orleans. It's game one of a three-game road trip. Into the lane. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Young's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. For the Detroit Pistons, they come in off the loss to the Bulls in Chicago. MP outside. Back to Jackson. Pass to Diallo. MP outside. Looking to end the run. That shot missing. Capella has been leading the charge for the Atlanta Hawks. Scoring, rebounding, he was all over the... And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a quick one as both. Now to the we'll go for a different look here. Jang, he's checked in for Capella. Alinari comes in for DeAndre Hunter. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. And it's right in for Trey Young. Jang is out there with Okongwu. Then there's Gallinari. Then it's DeWan Wright. And it's Herter in at the two. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Despite their record, there is optimism around the Detroit Pistons. Killian Hayes said, we have a fun team. We love seeing each other succeed. We've got a bright future. And Coach Wayne Casey says, if we bring the same type of intensity, toughness each and every night, then good things will happen. Kevin, back to you. Detroit Tough. Good stuff, DA, thanks. And it's gonna be out of bounds. The Pistons will retain possession. And so it's the Pistons who come out on top here. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.
got a question. Yeah. Regarding the social media post that you liked, it seems safe to assume you were trying to send a message. What message were you trying to send to the team? Look, Frank, I don't send messages through social media. I do that through my play on the court. <laughs> During the few minutes I get to be out there, you know? All right, well, would you say getting yourself trending was the goal? Trying to force the conversation? My goal is to help this team win games. That's it. And that's obviously there's some people online who have strong feelings about how I can best do that, but... And MP, you agree with them? No comment. I'm not surprised at all that MP was stooped this low. I told y'all, he didn't like the coach. And you know what that little channel of his, he wants the drama. It's good for ratings. Believe me, I know. And can we talk about this tweet for a second from user start MP, you idiots? First of all, is that your burner, MP? I refuse to believe a real person would name themselves that. Second of all, the tweet said, and I quote, free my boy MP. I swear y'all clowns wouldn't know Michael Jordan if he smacked you in the face. Are you kidding me, MP? You think you're Michael Jordan? And you want to talk about clowns? The only clown here is you, running around with your Twitter fingers, acting like a fool like this. Oh, it's a gnat in here. Get out of here, gnat. You got something to tell me?